guys so I wanted to make this video a review of for the through the looking glass Alice in Wonderland palette now I know I'm kind of late on this but I got it a while ago I just haven't gotten around to making a video on it and I've been waiting to use it till I made this video and I recently started a new channel and I'm going to be doing makeup tutorials on that so I thought why not make the review video for it so then I can use it for the tutorials on that channel. Here's the palette and I love this packaging because it's so cute. When you first open it up it has, first off it has a mirror so you can, you can see you guys or my camera. Um, and then it says I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. And one, I love that quote. And it's on the inside of the top of the palette. And then you, you open up the little flaps and there's a butterfly inside. And it's really cute. So whoever came up with this packaging did a great job. Not only is it Alice in Wonderland, which I love, but the packaging makes it even better. And then on this side, you pull it out. And that's where all of the colors are. And the one thing that I like about this palette compared to other palettes is that you know how well, when you get an eyeshadow palette, it comes with those little like those uh, sponge applicator brushes that no one really uses. Um, the Alice in Wonderland palette com it comes with a double-ended um, brush, but like a real like a real brush. So let's get into the review. So I'm going to start with the first row, and the first color is called Looking Glass, and it's just this like really like pale like peachy color. It's a really good base color, or maybe like a brow highlight color, and uh, you can, there. The next color is a green, and it is called Hatter. Now this is really good for me because I don't have any green eyeshadows. And the pigment is really good on this one. The next color is a like a creamy, really creamy color. And it's called Lily. And that's under the green. Really nice color for like the under brow highlight color. The fourth color is called Heads Will Roll and it's kind of like a teal color but it's also got a little bit of sparkle in it. And it's... And then the last color at the across the top is called Time and it's just a black. It looks like it may have a little bit of shimmer in it yeah there's definitely just a tiny bit of shimmer in it so then the first color on the second row is called reflection and it's a nice like nude tan color yeah I put it right under the black and it's almost hard to see the next color is gone mad and it's a kind of dark plum purpley color. It's more purple when it's actually like on and spread it out. Um, the next color is a kind of like a bronzy like penny color um, and it's called Duchess. This is a color I could use as more like a highlight color because it just adds a little bit of shimmer like you can't you can barely see it's right here you can see it like if I turn it in the light the fourth color in the second row is a dark like navy blue and it is called Bandersnatch and the last color in that row is kind of a, a dark grayish shiny color and it's called dream on 
But this one's more just like sparkle, so it really doesn't really doesn't show up. But it's it's got a little bit of a tint to it. The first color on the third row is is called Dormouse, and it is a more like chocolatey brown color. The second color on the third row is a nice orange and it has a little bit of shimmer in it and it is called Paradox. Really nice. Kind of looks like Cheeto dust. The third one on the third row is a more darker brown, but not like too, too dark, but it has a little bit of shimmer in it, and it is called Kingdom. Definitely a more bronzer color, and it is this one right here, which is really hard to see. I, I apologize. The fourth one on the third row is Salazin Grum and it is a kind of sparkly shimmery brick red color. The pigment on that one was really good. Like I got that much pigment in one swipe. And the last color on the third row is a very dark golden brown color. Um, called Chronosphere. And the final row starts off with this pretty like periwinkle bluish color. And it is called Metamorphous. And it's got a little shimmer to it. It's really pretty. And there it is. It's a little sheer at first because of the shimmer. So you will might need to do multiple coats of it. The second color on the last row is called Cake. And it's this really pretty fuchsia color. And it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. can't really tell that it has shimmer in it, but there is the fuchsia. The third color on the final row is a nice matte chocolatey color, and it is called Chessboard. So the second to last color is called Royal Flush, and it's a nice shimmery, creamy color. It would be great for your brow highlight. And that's right there. The last color is called Mirror, and it is a shimmery gray color. Excuse my nails, by the way. I need to redo them. I'm sorry. If you're one of those people that hates, like, the chip nails, I understand. And I apologize. Okay. So that was my, uh, swatch of the, look through the Looking Glass Alice in Wonderland palette. Um, my review is... I love all the colors. It was great choice of colors. Some of the colors, though, did require multiple layers to really, really show the, uh, to really show the color. Um, some colors were more pigmented than others. Some just required one swipe, and it was a lot of pigment. And it might be different for different people. So you just got to see what works for you and on your skin tone. But overall, I love the palette. I love the packaging. It all seems 
just from the swatches it all seems like it's going to work really well they're all beautiful colors so yes I would suggest this to anybody whether you be a fan of Alice in Wonderland or not it's by Urban Decay um so if you're a fan of Urban Decay then there you go um I haven't been into store to buy it makeup lately um, I got this from Ulta and I haven't been in Ulta in a while so I'm not sure if they still have it in stores or if you can buy it online I know that this I know this review is out a little bit late um, and I again apologize for that apologize for my nails um, yeah so in the description I will have all of my social media so I hope you enjoyed this review. I will. I do plan on doing more makeup review videos soon. Um, I have a few other palettes that I want to do a video on. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my other channel and the link will be in the description. Um, and that is it's still a new channel so there hasn't been, there isn't any tutorials on it yet. But I am going to be uploading tutorials on it. Um, I just wanted to get the review for this out so I can do the makeup looks using this palette. So thank you for watching this video. If there's any other makeup you want to see me review, leave it in the comments below or tweet me. Um, yeah. So until next time, have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!